If you guys are sick of investing and you'd much rather just buy coins, I completely understand. I'll leave a link to my coin sponsor, MMAJH, in the description. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. I highly recommend them. And if you use the code HABER, you get yourself 5% off your order. Enjoy the video, lads. How's it going, lads? And welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video I've got for you is actually a new video regarding some stuff that's coming out within the next month on FIFA. Now, if you guys remember from last year, EA did a special hashtag foot birthday celebration because it was their birthday or it was the, uh, the day that foot was created all those years ago. I believe it was in FIFA 10 that it was created or even FIFA uh, 09. I'm not 100% sure, but they have like a birthday celebration where you guys get free packs and more stuff comes out. There's always promotional like packs, it's like 25k, 50k, 100k packs in the store. Um, sometimes they do like discounted stuff like that, but that's that's like rare for EA. You know, we've seen it once like in five years. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, that's beside the point. Basically, um, EA usually bring out something big. Now, last year they brought out international position changes. You know, we saw like a left wing uh, Juan Mata, I believe it was. We saw a striker Sanchez. Um, if I get the picture up right now, I could actually um, talk to you guys about it. Actually talk about the players that we got. Um, so we got like a, a right mid Thomas Muller, we got a striker Bale, striker Ronaldo, right wing David Silva, left mid James Rodriguez, left wing Di Maria, left back for Tongan, that sort of good stuff. And they were nice. And um, also last year, we also got free packs. Now we got a free pack every single day uh, leading up to the Saturday, I believe, or the Friday where we got a free 50k pack. All untradeable, but it was like the first proper time EA had given us really good free packs. Um, they gave us some in FIFA 15 as well, but the, like we, we got like different ones depending on what your account was made, when you logged into FIFA, that sort of stuff. Well, this time we got uh, everyone got the same pack every single day leading up to a 50k pack, which is very nice. And we could be seeing that again. Now, will this affect the market? Yes, it will, because we could see massive amounts of new players, like uh, 18 brand new position changes maybe, that will absolutely ruin the market, because people are like, do I buy the normal one, do I buy the position change one? Um, and it could send the market into overdrive, you know, we're already seeing a huge crash because of EA changing a few things with the weekend league. Um, you know, we've also seen a huge crash just in general because it's after Team of the Year and after Team of the Year, the market never really recovered, like, let's be honest. So we could be seeing some new SBCs because, you know, EA love to do SBCs um, for pretty much everything like Footmas, Chinese New Year, that sort of stuff. EA love to bring out SBCs. So I assume we're going to see like the 82 plus uh, untradables and we're going to see like the Team of the Week packs. Um, and I assume we're going to see like positions change SBCs along with free packs and new cards on the market. I can imagine they'll do what they did with Halloween where they had the screen cards in packs and then they had like the special SBC versions um, in the SBC ver uh, in the SBC section where you can get like a Campire or a, a right winger slash right uh, right mid um, Douglas Costa or you can get like a um, a centre back, uh, I forget what that Spanish dude's name is, um, it'll come to me soon. But yeah, we could be seeing uh, a huge amount of uh, brand new SBCs which suck coins off the market and then we could see <coughs> some more players in packs which puts them straight back on and it's this massive seesaw it depends on what actually happens whether it goes up whether it goes down and whether with what ea want to do that's what we'll see now last year was a seven year celebration this year obviously being the eighth year celebration uh, we could see eight free packs one for every day for eight days we could see something revolving around eight we could see players with the eight on their shirt it might be a good idea to invest in that um if you guys were thinking about that that might be a good idea because i did that with the uh footman SBCs if you guys remember um, and we'll just see how that sort of pans out so we could be seeing a huge amount of new content from EA within the next month I believe it was March 28th last year or some around that time um, that EA actually did this uh, promotion last year it was it was around March 24 March 21st to March 28th I think it was um, so we could see that it will be in the next month so if you guys did enjoy this video leave a like down below subscribe if you guys aren't around here make sure you check out some of the promotional stuff um, within the next few weeks I'd recommend following EA on Twitter that's the best place to find you know new stuff out for FIFA anyway boys it's been hey because fantastic thank you for watching the video and I'll see you later